back to my channel today I will be sharing what I got for the Erin Condren life planner launch so I just got back from EC Austin and I only picked up one thing um I had everything that I wanted sent to me in my collaboration with Erin Condren so I will have links to those videos below if you want to see all of the accessories that are coming out as well as the hourly life planner which I am actually currently using but also will be um using as well and just a little deep dive on that this is also the new agenda cover which is my favorite thing that I probably launched um but today I picked up the Daily Duo. So I really like the A5 size. I wanna be able to use my Daily Duo in my Louis Vuitton agenda cover. And so um, that's why I prefer the A5. There are three new options this year. Um, there's the new Eta V, which is the colorful collaboration. It's called Evolve. And then there is the Bloom. And then there is the Canvas. The Canvas is the neutral option. And y'all know I typically go for that. However, Canvas is only available in 7 by 9 Um, That is something that I really hope changes because I hope A5 is, you know, really popular with everybody. Um, so I did just I know I wanted A5 and I know I wanted a Daily Duo because there's a new layout that we will go over in this video. Um, so what I decided typically I go for like the Evolve or like whatever the um, colorful one is because I'm not a, flan a fan of floral. Personally, it's just not my style, but I think I mentioned in my like other videos, I really like the Bloom layout and it's kind of growing on me, but this is also more of a neutral planner. Since I'm a neutral person, I actually really liked the these tabs and the colorways a little bit more and I typically don't use like the monthlies. Um, so I just decided to get the Bloom. So this is the new Bloom um, Daily Duo. So you get two books. You get the January through June 2025, and then you get the July through December 2024. So um, you get to choose your cover. I chose one of the Eta V designs because I just really love them, and I thought it looked cute with the gold coil. And then the other option comes with one of the uh, the Bloom or the Evolve based on which one you get cover so you can switch them out right they're interchangeable um you can get the same cover if you want you can get a different design whatever you want um but the first or but the second book is always going to be the um, design of what you chose so let's go ahead and jump right in to what this planner looks like so and why i chose it you have a little canvas overlay here you go into your monthly page and then you have your six months and then six months in what's in this planner, right? Because each Daily Duo covers six months. So you can use these for different categories, different months, whatever you choose. And then you can plan out anything, use date dots or highlighters to mark any weeks. Like um, if you have kids, um, when school's out or if you're traveling, travel dates, so on and so forth. And then you have 2026 over here at a glance. So that's also really nice to have when you're pre-planning for your next planner. And then here's what the monthlies look like. So again, I do think these are cute. It's just typically not my style. I am probably going to be double-sided taping things together. That's what I normally do um, for things that I don't use. Um, here's what the monthly view looks like. So what I like is that you kind of got like a painted petals, which is my favorite design from Erin Condren in the corner. You have a glimpse of the flower. I really like the um, sidebar. I really like how they did it this year and these months. I just think it's really cute. And I honestly liked it better if I was gonna use the months, even with that floral design, um, more than I would have liked the Evolve personally. So I don't know why, I just, I really like the, and I think it's probably because it's like neutral, right? Calling to my neutral heart. But I also think it's just different too for Erin Condren and I really liked it. Um, what they have also changed this year is the monthly page is now on this side. So this is the monthly overview and then you get a note page. The structure is still the same. You get some dots, some lines, um, dot grid, and then a blank space. But again, this isn't like too florally in my opinion. Like, yes, you do have like that accent there, but I wouldn't mind just using like this page, probably not the monthly, but I also don't really use this page. Sometimes I double-sided tape it together. And that's again, just personal, like, 
I need this to be a daily planner. I have, as y'all know, my hourly, right, that I also use. And so that's something because I use multiple planners, I don't need to use every single page in each planner like this. I need this for this layout. So let me show y'all what a full week looks like. So each week starts with a um, new weekly overview page. This is why I want to get the Daily Duo this year. Um, I've gotten it before and I stopped using it because I need a week at a glance. And I really love that they incorporated this in here. So you get a note page and then a week at a glance. You can use this for this current week. You can use it for the week that passed. Either way, like this is what you have before each week. And then you go into your days and they listen, guys. So um, I think this is why, again, too, I was so excited for the Daily Duo. Um, you no longer have the calendar up here in that blank space. I hated that blank space with a passion. Um, I, I know a lot of people liked the monthly calendar. I always said I wish they removed the monthly calendar um, from just up here and put it down here. I know people can add in stickers if they need it. I know people loved it. it to me, I just did not like that blank space. I don't, I don't know what it was. It just irritated me. Um, so I'm really glad that they decided to, and I think I'm, I, obviously I know like there's so many people who said the same thing. So they listened and now you get your to-do list and then your blank space. And it's just such, I think it also looks nicer personally. Um, each day because of all these new pages, has um, their own page and then it's essentially the same setup. So you get um, Monday through Sunday and then you have a blank page here for the end of the week. But again, you still have that note page. So you get like a single note page for each week and the overview. So there's just so much to these planners, right? And it's consistent now because of these pages. Um, you get the full days on the weekends, which is also really nice. But again, note page, weekly overview. So you just get a lot of room for notes and writing things down, tracking things, like whatever you need. So I really like what they did this year with this layout. Um, so that is what the um, Daily Duo looks like. Here are the stickers. So this is the back. And then I also just really like the stickers. Again, being neutral, you get, again, some of those painted petals, which I love. Um, but it was just the colorway that really drew me to this planner, just because I really liked it and I really love the pocket in this one. So yeah, that is the Daily Duo. As I mentioned, I will be moving into this one early, like I typically do. Um, I got the sticky notes that you can um, add in to like the back over here if you like. This is a launch item, so if you order during launch, you get the Evolve sticky notes. And yeah, that is what I picked up. I'm really excited to use this and try this out and share everything with you guys. So other than that, that is gonna be it for this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. And thank you guys so much for watching.